What's up guys, Gaines Gertz here. Let's talk about barbell overhead press and a little variation you can do to add some slabs of meat onto your shoulders. When I started doing this and I started applying it, some people I know, massive growth in the width of those shoulders, right? All those guys, they want bigger shoulders. Uh, females as well, if you're physique competitors, whatever it may be, if you want to grow your shoulders, which I highly recommend, number one thing I'm gonna tell you is let's make sure you have the range. Okay, you should be able to get all the way overhead here without flaring your rib cage and sacrificing lumbar back here, your lower back. You should be able to squeeze your glutes, reach overhead fully without any restriction. If you can't do that, then don't watch this video because we are never gonna add form. We're never gonna sacrifice form for load and we're never gonna add load to dysfunction. We're just never gonna do it, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you a little hack for how you can get giant shoulders. You're doing your strict barbell overhead press, glutes look good, you're nice and tight, everything looks solid, you hit failure, you go to do your last rep, ah, oh, can't get it. You know what you can do, right? You can use your legs, push press, control it on the way down. Use your legs, push press, control on the way down. Okay, you are overloading the eccentric and you are assisting yourself with your lower body for the concentric, right? Because I will always, I'm always, always, always stronger on the lowering portion or the eccentric portion of a lift than I am on the concentric. Take advantage of that with all your lifts, not just with this one, but on your last set and on your last few reps, if you wanna add in some some extra reps, that extra volume, if you're stagnant right now, feel free to add in some eccentric overload, okay? Just make sure that you're not sacrificing form whenever you do it. I didn't say, let everything go out the window and control on the way down. I said, stay tight, push press it overhead, control it down. If you had a training partner on an overhead press, it's really hard to assist a training partner on the way up, okay? I don't recommend that, you're gonna look stupid. Just use your legs and do it safely. Put on a belt if you know you're gonna push that set to complete failure and try this on other movements. You can do it on bench press, you can do it on squat, you can do it on any movement, man. It's, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal way to get that additional stimulus you need to fuel more muscle growth. So be safe when you do it. Don't add load to dysfunction, please. If you don't have the shoulder range to get overhead without compensating somewhere else in your body, scratch it. Go work on your shoulders for a few months before you start doing any overhead work or only train in the range that you have, okay? Don't go all the way up because every time you go all the way up, you're sacrificing your spine. Beautiful guys, chiropractor paid me to say that. I had to talk and in circles on that one, but try it out, share it with your training partners, and remember, it's gains with GERDs, and you need to share this information with people you care about, because we're teaching people how to move correctly in here, which serves them for their entire life, and has the ability to impact lives if you're willing to share this. So please share this video with somebody that you have in mind that you care about, you care about their spine health, and uh, also show them how to get some big, meaty, jack shoulders. Thanks, guys.